Corn flakes. Corn flakes. And for breakfast, we're gonna have some wheat picks, porridge, oh. and some rice bubbles. Ah, oh, but do you have a corn flakes? Oh, it's finished. I ate them all. You? Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I think you and me are gonna have a corn flakes, mate. But I told you there's no more conflicts. Oh, but there will be. Hey, mm, I'll be waiting, John. Okay? Welcome to the Rock of Polynesia, a.k.a. New Air Island. This is my man, Mr. Malcolm Lakatani, a.k.a. Mr. Malcolm Lakatani. This is my man, Shay Ness, a.k.a. Shay Fu. We're chilling in the Lofi, right at the wharf here, watching the Vaka races. We're about to get it in. Welcome to the 2013 Arts Festival, number three. Wow. Holding it down right here for you and yours. That's why right, Funny and Funny coming up next. It's got Crocky again, Fair Dinkum, amazing. And Tiger and Ra. Beautiful. Uncle. Some new arts festival for y'all. Boom. Our good friend Vanessa Ma, she's been out in the water, smashing it out there. How was it? It was really good to be out on the water. Me. Thanks, Shay. Hey, Nissa, how has the festival been going lately? Festival's been great. Lots of activities happening. A lot of things for all our friends and family to do. It powers my sheep. And it's been really good to have everyone come home, especially for us to be able to show them just exactly what it is that they're missing out on. All that great food, all the traditional games and sports, and a bit of culture and history thrown into it. Nice. One of the things that uh, that my father said to me is that the ofi ke mau, the ofi ke mau, evangaho niwe. Basically, we just need to um, hold on to our culture, and the strongest way is probably through. Um, through the use of Bangahau Niwe. My Niwen is, hasn't been the strongest, but every time, every time that I've come back to the rock, I found myself getting a little bit more stronger and connected to it, um, only through the use of the language and talking with lots and lots of people through everyday language. So it's been really, really fun. Bringing music. Um, as an art um, to, to the festival. It's real special for me because it's like two things being put together. It's like language, um, culture, and music in that world um, where I see all of that just come and take shape. This time I've had um, special moments nearly every day that I've been here. One of the definite ones was going down to Tongo. You know, really seen that uh, we have a beautiful country, like, you know, just looking at our island and looking at how jagged our rock is, it's really just the rock. So of times when I've, when I've been talking to my friends back in New Zealand, they've asked me, hey, uh, is there any, is there any uh, beaches in Niue? Is there any beaches? And I was just saying, nah, because it's one big rock, because we all know one as the rock, you see. And now for the first time, I've seen, like, lots of sand. And here's sand right here. So I'm pretty excited. What's it like to play with Shay? Him being this, um, this, this famous New Zealand um, hip hop artist who's done it all and gone all over the world. And to come here first time, and for me to be already involved with music and meet with him here and be here for him as well, was just magical. We had a great trip, had a good week. Oh, 
He's awesome. He's, he's awesome. He's like a brother to me. And his dad's here too. His dad's here too, so he's like a masood to me too. So sitting at the at the dawn parade service um, with him was actually quite special. One of the speakers um, was my uncle who also served in the war. Those people did something for their country. Those people did something and they belonged, they had a good strong sense of belonging to something. And they go to war even. If I, if I could live half that kind of life and half that kind of like, you know, moral standing foreground, I would, I would be happy with myself. Doing the anthem of Shane and the other day was special. I think um, a couple of us were quietly crying on the inside just because how, um, how that song binds us all together. Especially with um, artists as, such as um, Shay Fu and his father, who's also a musician too from Unity Pacific, um, coming from New Air Descent, and they're both singing the, the song of our island. It's a strong identity. to share that moment with them, so that was one of the big moments. I'm going to take away the language and the use of the language every day, and I'm going to talk to everybody in it, everyone that I know, I'm just going to talk Nguyen. Mum and Dad, I'm coming home and I'm talking Nguyen. Good morning at 5 p.m. in the evening. Ah, uh, still running? Hello, welcome back to Uncle Sam's iBlog. Right now I want to talk about the music that a lot of young people listen to nowadays. Sometimes I can't understand it, it's quite mind-boggling. And for me it's like an interface called a franchise that can pin and gratitude the intro of Empresses. <laughs> the music now, like uh, some of them listen to a heavy metal. This is why they play the guitar, like that is really heavy. The other one I hear a lot about is a uh, dubstep. I can't hear the scatter so it is. It's like a radio you're tuning it and you're not getting the right frequency. Really sound really uh, disturbed. Very disturbed. And the other one is like a reggae. I like a reggae because I like Bob Murray. Bob Murray, he's very funny, that guy. One drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I really love it. And the other one in, uh, is uh, the rap. I like the rap because it's got a lot of healthy things there. Like a, it's like a cafe, you know, if you buy yourself a rap. Oh, I've got a rap in my hand, make me feel like I understand. Everybody knows I go to the man, then he comes to me and says, give me five. So that's why I love about the music, but sometimes I don't understand it. But if you're listening to a music, put the earphones on. Don't walk around with a cell phone in the loud, you know, proving to people you can't afford a headphone and you can't afford a stereo. I'm not saying it because it's a stereotype, no. I'm not like that. That's Uncle Sam talking to you about music. Go and blast yourself. Hi. This is Fresh here on the Rock of Polynesia. We're still here. We're standing in the sun. It's getting hotter and hotter. We're definitely feeling the heat. It's very well up in here, but yo, keep it locked. Don't, don't move anywhere. We're going to have a little break. We're going to come back with some more new arts festival for y'all. Hey. Crocodile cheer! Ah! Get high with me. Ah! Paste! Paste! No, Celsius. I don't happy with this kind of craftsmanship. It's very ugly. But boss! Mm. I tried my very paste! Uh, maybe you need a different kind of paste, isn't it? Welcome back to Fresh. We're here on the Rock of Polynesia at the Arts and Cultural Festival. And right here we have our two beautiful aunties showing us... Uh, well, actually, auntie, what are we doing? We're showing you what to do with these crowns. Just to plant and um, 
have the taste of what it's like to join us here in the Arts of Festival in Niue. Awesome, Monty. That's great. As you can see, I prepared one earlier. Um, I'm doing my Malcolm impression right here. I'm going to try it on one of them now, so, since they're really good at plating. That's right. And while Auntie gives us more advice on how to make these, here's some more advice for Bunny and Bunny. Always, it's a beautiful Saturday morning. Oh, it, uh, is. it is. Okay. I just love, I always look forward to this. Uh, today we have a very special letter, uh, because we're not actually reading today, thank goodness. We have a video letter. Dear Bunny and Bunny, my name is Lecky. All my friends are starting to leave New Zealand and move to Australia. What should I do? Should I move to Australia too? Really, I don't think there's anything wrong with New Zealand. Oh. Right? Can you guys use your super amazing powers and help me out, please? Well, you guys are the ones with the super amazing powers. I've only got the looks. But you guys got amazing powers. Look how you scare the men away. That's amazing powers. Thank you, Auntie. Yeah, you, you went to Australia? I only went over because they wanted to take photos for the billboards. It was part of my modeling contracts. Yeah. On the magazine? Yeah. Which one? Uh, Women's Day in uh, GQ in Calvin Klein. Some observers. Wow. In the, in the Tongan Post. Auntie Tala can speak Australian. Yeah. No. Yeah, hey, fluent. Crocky again. Hey, thank him. Oh, I was like, Sherry Timbers might call me a bango and call me a bimbalagawu. What does that mean? Well, that means I'm just coming down the crack and bringing me old bulls and they can drag them and farm and picking the old cows going moo. Yeah, why does everyone want to go there anyway? They got snakes there. They got, they got the big cockroach that fly everywhere. Yeah, oh. but you know the cockroaches? You put it on the frying pan. <laughs> Honest, I'm telling you, you just take the wings off, and then just go, oh, it tastes really nice. And with a crocodile's tail, yeah. you use it, and you get all the waters, yeah. and it, yeah. it gets fertilized in there, and when you drink it, it's apple juice. I, I can't, that's why we call it crocodile tail. People say, do you want a cocktail? I say, no, I want a crocodile. And just come in, honestly, just like, oh, give you a vitamin. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Auntie, speaking of crocodiles, yeah. what does crocodile tear mean? Yeah. Crocodile tear? Yeah. yeah. Well, what happens is the crocodile gets really fat and then it tears something in his body or like a muscle. Yeah. It's just... You just wow me with your knowledge. Thank you. So I think. Yeah. Don't go to Australia. But I think sometimes the thing that people go for is the money. But money is not everything. Why go and look for money when you can look for a man who's looking for money? That way you don't look for anything. Yeah, you just sleep and your account is going ching, 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 oh, ching. Wow. And then when it's right, divorce, you get half of what he was looking for. Yeah. That's it, done deal, yeah. boom! Crocodile yeah. cheer! <laughs> Amazing. Oh, fair thinking, man. What does that mean? Like Rocky, that means watch Mr. Fresh. It's Balova, Balova, Balova. Hey, what's up, Fresh? Uh, my name's Titus Paul. I run a boot camp company all over New Zealand, as well as in Australia, RIP Training. Uh, we look to uh, service anybody. We want to come out there and catch up with you. 100% Samoan, proud as anything. We go to church every Sunday. Um, well, I try to, but definitely my parents do. I've always been a huge fan of training. Um, I've always run boot camps, so it's just a matter of time until I launch my own brand. RIP Training stands for results, intensity, passion, power, excellence and drive. Oh, wow! One of the main things that I'm known for in terms of my training is getting results out of everybody. That's what we do it for. Nobody wants to train to not get a return on it, and it motivates you to keep going. For me, I always preach that activity is always the way. It doesn't matter what you're doing, as long as you're doing something. You know, being out there training always beats sitting on the couch. And bunny and bunny, I'm coming for you. Wow. Oh, fair dinkum, mate. You totally look like fully sick muscle on top of muscle, mate. Wow, he was amazing. Oh, he's incredible. He's amazing. He is. You're and amazing. you know what? I think that answers the question for you, Lecky. Don't go to Australia. Yeah, don't. Website. Oh, yes. Check out our website, Lecky. Yes, Even yeah. in Australia, you can check out Facebook. And I know you can't go to Australia because you can't afford it. <laughs> Ravatu, what's good, family? Hey, bunny and bunny. Mr. Fresh right here, holla, holla. I got abs. Well, I got an ab, but uh, as you can see, my boy right here, Malcolm, he's getting deep with the culture. He's got the hat on, playing the ukulele, jamming it out. Keep it locked. Think you're praying, right? Piha is a pig. 
quite groggy boy better be staying school. Sir! Old! Salt! Hey! You eat all the pizza! What? I, I honest, I you didn't! You did! I saw it with my own two eyes! Hey! What? All the pizza! Oh, the pizza. Finger juice is for his full admin. Amen! I can stand one time, so everybody let me hear you say, Whoa! One time, people in the face, I'll be down. One time, one time, listen up. Now, everybody let me hear you say, Whoa! Come on! Everybody let me hear you say, Whoa! Shebu, Tamaniwe, perfect on the rug. Unlike Tiger and Ra, why? Because there's no public transport here on the rug. But they are perfect for you right now. Check it out! I'm a taxi in the daytime. I'm a hero in the night time. And I'm punching all the best boy. Cause you can run very far because I know where you are. This the Avenger of Takahara. Well, Uncle D's crosswords are hard as. <laughs> it's not hard. It's AC PC. Hit me. Okay, four across, beginning with G. What is our famous coast in Australia? Ah, famous case in Australia. Uh, picking it with J. Mm. So what I'm thinking is Co-Coast. Co-Coast. Uh, this can't be the one, Co-Coast. Oh, no, you are right. It's not Co-Coast, Uncle. It's Gold Coast. Yeah, that's it. Gold oh, Coast. Is it? Oh, it must be the Australian spelling anyway. Hit me a cane. Oh, okay. What is our famous West Auckland surfing location? It's four down, beginning with P. P, hey, ah. Oh, there's an O.C. Um, everybody go there. It's a peach. That's where everybody swim in the peach. Oh, no. I oh, know, Uncle. It's, um, Piha. Piha, yeah, that's the uh, one. Think you're praying, Ra. Piha is a peach. Boy, Groggy boy, better be staying in school. Well, here's a good one, Uncle. What's one of the largest deserts in the world beginning with the letter S? Oh, right, the clue is right there. The letter S. The largest desert in the world is Sandy. Oh, I think I know. It's Sahara. Sahara Desert. Yeah, a little bit fair poco, isn't it? Listen, the Sahara Desert is made up of heaps and heaps of Sandy. Here's a couple more, Uncle. A place of entertainment where people spend money to make money, starting with the letter C. Oh, I know this one. People spend money to make money in, uh, there's, um, oh, there's a gambling. Gambling. Oh, yeah, gambling. Close, Uncle, it's, um, casino. Casino, yeah. Oh, casino. my goodness. Yes, that's where they go, the casino, to gambling. Ah, oh, goodness, mate. Hey, gee, a couple more before you make me angry. Okay, um, what country beginning with the letter E will you find the pyramids? Excellent. <laughs> I mean, that's not a country, Uncle. I'm not talking about your pyramid. I'm talking about an excellent vision in my eyes. <laughs> Uncle. You look for your stupid country, right? Because I think I found my will. Fala fala ya tu kita terus kau ingat aku kau harus ikut tu. Kau ikut make ikut free ya ikut mangan dia mutu kau tua apa umur? Kau tak tua ya? Kau apa? Tak faham gua? Tak ikut mutu ya kau lalu tau? Mahuna uai tamak, tamtan, tamuruk, tulah itu tunhan, mahu fakon non, si tay mui, itu peten itu tun, elah tay mehan mui, potu ke uak, tamu ke uak, ay, 
Yes, brothers and sisters, welcome back. We are at the airport, about to head on the silver plane back to New Zealand. New Year, what can I say? Love you so much. Thank you so much for looking after us. To all the people that helped us out during this whole week, I would say love, go Allah. Uh, you know you're fresh when your name is Malcolm and you leave your passport somewhere. Malcolm, where are you? Hey, just been on the rock, awesome time over here. I'm in a hurry though. But hey, you know when you're fresh, do not lose your passport. Ah! With Shay. Shay! So long time friends. We remain the same until you return. Well, as you can see, we're about to head back to New Zealand on this iron plane right here. This is Malcolm Lakatani. This is Mr. Shea Fu. Fall again. Monina. Of New Zealand on here. That's what's making me famous on the TV. Thank you.